Hi guys, it's Lexi and today is January 21st. You know what that means? This is the 21st century and this is our first 21st day of 2021. And at 9 p.m. tonight, 21 hours military time, it will be 2121 on 121 2021 in the 21st century. My dad called me this morning to tell me that. He's like, so pop a bottle. I put on a little extra makeup, you know, and we're gonna film a weird video. If you've never seen a weird series before, this is my favorites video. I have an acronym, WEIRD, and it stands for what I've been wearing, eating, impressed by, reading, downloading, and doing. I haven't been doing anything lately, so I almost want to nix the second D and just spell weird like we normally would. But without further ado, let's get into what I've been wearing. We also have a good sponsor today. They're going to come up a little bit later in the video, but I think you guys are going to love them a lot. Leather jackets. I have two. This is the first one I got. This is from the brand Dollhouse, and it has a missing button. I got it at the Goodwill or the Salvation Army back in Virginia. It served me so well. It's a great length. It has a collar. It's slimming. It's long. It keeps me warm, but it's not like very heavy. And then the second one I have, I got from Deals on Designers. The brand is Harvey Bernard. Harvey Bernard? Harvey Bernard? Mm and it's a little bit thicker. It's definitely higher quality than the other one, but it only has one button in the middle and there's no pockets, whereas this one does. That's why I haven't gotten rid of the first one. They keep both around. I find these to be the jackets that I'm grabbing towards the most. I like wearing them over top of a white button down with light wash jeans. I've done white top, gray sweatpants, sneakers, this over top. I am reaching for these all the time. I have a similar jacket in brown. And I never gravitate towards it, which chocolate brown is like having its moment right now. It's just, I don't know, enough of me. These ones are so good. I wanted a, I could go on about this for a long time, but leather jackets, like I've always wanted to have that like Levi jean, casual white tee, big leather jacket with like the buckles and the, you know, the, like the classic leather jacket, motorcycle type leather jackets that we're used to seeing, but not motorcycle. What are they called? Because motorcycle ones have the single zipper right here. I'm talking about the ones that have like the folds and they kind of are asymmetrical and they'll oftentimes like have a belt around the waist. I always look a little like stupid in those for some reason. Trust me, like I've been on the hunt for a jacket like that. I don't know upwards of a decade I feel like I was in a freshman in high school being like yeah I need a leather jacket never have found one that suits me and if you're in that same boat give one of these jackets a try you might find it a little bit more suitable e what I've been eating obviously strawberries they're not even in season but they're so good right now I swear every time I go to the grocery store I mean like this beautiful strawberry this is amazing oh she's so pretty this one also absolutely perfect they're not in season why am i obsessed with them i don't know i will say though you gotta eat them the day you get them that's my rule i buy a box i normally have some that evening have some the next day they'll start to go bad otherwise so you can tell i live in new york i mentioned in a podcast that i just wanted to be a little ridiculous times are weird and i'm still coping with like the acute stress that's living inside of me all the time and one of my options was coping through delusion and just dedicating myself to something ridiculous just like pure absurdity and my one example was like maybe i'll just eat nothing but strawberries for a month and then i can remember when i'm old and gray that month that i only ate strawberries however I'm eating enchiladas. I learned this new recipe, and here's the thing. This is the teaser. I would love to make the recipe for you, but I'm going out of town and visiting my cousin tomorrow, and I don't want to have food waste. I know no one's gonna be eating them. I will walk you through it. I'm not going to make it for you in this video, but you have my word. I pinky swear that I will show you how to make this enchilada recipe in the future. Let me walk you through it. Get a pan, all right? Heat it up, medium heat, garlic onions, olive oil, let it saute, caramelize. Once you got that going on, can or two of black beans. Let that cook up, add in some seasonings, do like, I have this Mexican blend that I use, salt, pepper, cumin, whatever you want. Hot sauce, cayenne pepper, what's that other? It starts with a T. People put it on mango, maybe do that. Lime, sure, add it in. Once that's heated, add in half a bag to a whole bag of spinach. Once that starts to wilt and shrinks in size, get out a casserole dish, have a tortilla, 
scoop a serving of whatever's in your pan into the tortilla, roll it up, place it face down in the casserole dish, do that until the casserole dish is full, pour some enchilada sauce on top, Trader Joe's makes a great one, it's in a bottle, it's red, pour the whole bottle on. If you don't like red sauce, great. Do a can of green sauce, I love verde sauce. Pour it all on. Once that's covered, put a blend of cheese on top and then bake it in the oven at 350 for like 20 to 25 minutes. You are good to go. It is a crowd pleaser. Not a lot of things will I say this about, but it tastes just as good, if not better, the next day. Highly, highly recommend. I feel a little guilty that I'm not making it for you. I promised that I would had it not... Like, it's not worth it. Like, I'd have to go out and buy the ingredients and it would just go to waste. And I don't want to do that. But I promise, you have my word, I will make it for you. I, what I've been impressed by, CBD. I use it every night now. I am so late on the game. I use products from Winged, and I showed their products in my Let's Pretend It's 2013 haul video, which was a great time. I really enjoyed that. I'm glad everyone else seemed to enjoy it too because we needed it. I needed it. You needed it. We all needed it. Anyway, they sent me these products, and I've been using them nonstop. I will show you my three faves. So the first one that I started getting into, and Winged is sponsoring this video, which I'm so glad about because it's a female-owned company. I hopped on the phone with the founder. She is so gung-ho. I wish I thought of a different word than gung-ho. She's like very passionate about creating a lifestyle community for us girls, and I'm in full support. Also, I'll get into that later. I don't want to get ahead of myself. So the first product that I fell in love with were the Sleepy Gummies, and these are 10 milligrams of CBD. And what I would do is I'd take like one or two of them before bed. Guys, when I would wake up, I've said this to everyone. I've also been telling everyone about CBD, like all my friends. I'm like, you got to try it. And they're like, yeah, we know about CBD. I'm like, no, but you have to try it. It's so good. Like I take two gummies before I go to bed. And when I wake up, I'm in the same position that I went to sleep in. <laughs> it's really crazy. And now I'm making everyone try it. Started taking these gummies regularly. And then I noticed... I would start to want to take it like right before I went to sleep and at that point I had already brushed my teeth so I started using the liquid CBD and this is their peppermint oil and there's 720 milligrams in the bottle and what I really like about this because I've tried tincture applications before and this dropper has measurements on it. I mean you'll have to figure out the dosage for yourself but I usually take between 0.5 and 0.25, somewhere around there, just depending. And I place it underneath my tongue and I count anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. And then I swallow it and it kicks in a lot quicker, in my humble opinion. 100% of the time when I take it, I wake up in the same position and that just blows me away because I'm a pretty good sleeper but I definitely toss and turn and this has been better for my hair. Also, I want to say in case you're worried about this because I was worried about this, I still dream while I'm sleeping. And then the last product that's my, my fave, the body oil. <gasps> okay, I mean you can use this every single night but the best way to use it in my opinion is when you've cleaned your sheets, you go into the shower and you've exfoliated and you've shaved and then just put a ton of this all over your body. I was watching Sex in the City just pumping oil onto my legs and just like massaging my legs and my arms and it just it's so good it feels so cooling and in this oil mixture there's rose hip sunflower seed hemp seed evening primrose argan and marula oils it is amazing i really 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 love this there are a ton of products to try and i know for a fact that there are a ton of new products coming out i'm very happy to work with winged because a, normally when I get a sponsor, I get to give you a discount, so you'll get 15% off your purchase if you use the code LEXI, L-E-X-I-E, and some of the proceeds are going to Girls for a Change, which is a female charity based in Virginia. I'm a Virginia girl, so it makes me very happy. These are my recs, but they also have a face oil, they have relaxation gummies. I mean, I would definitely go check out the website, and I'm very impressed, so... That is why they are in the impressed by category. R, reading. I think I've shown this book already before. I was reading The Wife Upstairs. This I got from Book of the Month. The book itself is a thriller, murder mystery. It's the story of this poor lost girl who makes her way to Alabama and is working as a dog walker in a very affluent neighborhood and 
falls in love with one of the men who's recently widowed in the neighborhood and they just have this steamy romance and then his wife was recently murdered along with her best friend and you're trying to figure out how they all connect. Lots of secrets keep you on your toes. It's a super easy read. I, my reading goes all over the map and I would say that it's important, I said this before I think in a video, that if you are reading a ton of like heavy nonfiction or you're reading a lot of self-help and just thinking about your own life a lot and you just want an escape, a book like this can do the trick. I'd give it a 5 out of 10. I've been a little slow on my reading game, TVH. I need to step it up. Y'all know what I'm currently reading because I got shamed for saying I didn't like it. <laughs> but my opinion is slowly changing. Slowly changing. D what I've been downloading if I can find my phone. I got the greatest gift as of recently from John. He got me, let me find my phone. For Christmas, John got me Hue light bulbs. Once again, similar to CBD, I am so late on the adjustable colored light game. So you download an app for it. You can connect the different light bulbs. So I have some in my bedroom and then one in the living room. And you can control all the different colors that they are. They also have presets so you could pick if you wanted like a sunset vibe or a tropical twilight or this is not even in focus. <laughs> I've really enjoyed this. It's such a vibe creator. Absolutely. And I love it. There's also another app that I, I don't want to talk about it yet because I haven't used it, but I'm really excited. Should I tell you about it? No. I'll tell you about it once I actually use it. But I learned about it from one of my YouTube friends and it looks really fun and my roommate and I are going to go try it at some point. And then D for what I've been doing. Nothing to write home about, to be honest. Literally nothing to write home about. I'm literally, like, I, I have nothing to say. <laughs> like, this time last year, I would have been like, I just got back from Hawaii and St. Lucia, and I'm so excited to start the new semester, and I'm taking these great classes, and I've already met my professors, and they're so lovely. I've also decided to take up a new yoga class in the city, as well as one across the street. Like, I was a different girl. I was not a different, I actually was a different girl. I feel like I've changed a lot in 2020. Um, but life is different. Anyway, Biden's now our president. Changes will hopefully be happening. My parents are getting the vaccine on Sunday. Hopefully I'll get it before summer. Fingers crossed. If any of you guys have gotten the vaccine, let me know. I'm so curious. Yeah, um, basically I've been pumping out a lot of vlogs and of course I have a podcast, but these are things I've already announced. Thank you for all the love on the podcast. It's getting so much more love than I expected. I'm literally like, what? Also, another one of those like moments, I looked at my demographics today. More than 50% of you are listening from other countries and that blows me away. Like that I have an international audience, which in hindsight, when I see some of you guys post photos of you listening to the podcast, someone was in front of the Eiffel Tower, someone else was walking their dog in Portugal. It was, it's so exciting. It like brings me so much joy. I'm glad it can be something exciting for you as it is exciting for me. And other than that, go check out Winged. Check out strawberries, try the enchilada recipe, get yourself some hue lights, get yourself a goddamn leather jacket. And I'll see you all in my next video very soon. Thanks for watching, follow me on Insta and Twitter if you want. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later. Bye!